What's up, little bitch? Welcome to Tiger Bucket Pro Wrestling. Our very first battle, Pizza Dragon versus Fabulous Wolf. You've already met Pizza. Uh, you've already met Fabulous Wolf. Obviously, the other guy who looks like he's made out of pizza. That is the Supreme One, Pizza Dragon. Fabulous Wolf gonna go ahead and get on top of this match. He's gonna pull those pepperonis off his face and eat it. So far, it's all Fabulous Wolf, man. Jesus. And he's cheating already, even though he doesn't need to. Even though he's already winning, he's still going to bang Pizza Dragon in the Forbidden Zone. Our sponsor tonight, of course, is Pizza Dragon. Locally owned and operated since 1987. And if Pizza Dragon wins tonight, the pizza at the concession stand... As Fabulous Wolf said, for the rest of the night will be 50 cents off. So the original uh, price is $1.50 on a slice of pizza. Uh, which doesn't sound like a big change, but l let's break it down. If you're a, you're a single dad and you've got two kids, we'll call them Millie and Burl. And Millie and Burl both want pizza, and you've only got three dollars. Well, if the price is a buck fifty, they can only have they can have they can eat pizza. But what are you gonna have? You know what I mean? I hope you got some uh, certs in your pocket or something. But if Pizza Dragon wins, and it's only a dollar, then all three of you can easily afford to get a slice of pizza. So this is pr pretty much a big deal for the audience here. Fabius Wolf trying really hard to make sure that doesn't happen, and you guys have to. You gotta dig those certs out of your pocket. Later tonight in the main event, we'll see the guy who's throwing the show here. Uh, putting on the show, I should say. Elgato Policia. Will be in action against Barnabas Rex. Barnabas Rex was uh, in a match here uh, 40 years ago today. Against... Elgato Policia's father, Elgato Diablo Dos. Quick strike exchange there. Pizza Dragon comes out on top. Pizza Dragon's taking control here. I think we're gonna get I think we're gonna get cheap pizza. We'll see. The High Society Banquet League who owns this building. They invited uh, invited us back. Of course Elgato Diablo Dos is in prison. He's been there for many years. So they couldn't get him to put on the show. Um, they were able to get his son, Elgato Policia. Uh, you would expect his name to be Elgato Diablo Trace, but he um, shirked that moniker. He said no to the devilish ways of his cat-related family. And decided he'd rather be Policia. He wants to stand for the truth and the justice and the peace and the light and all that. He's a young guy, not a lot of experience. He's going to have his hands full with uh, veteran Barnabas Rex. Uh, Barnabas Rex is an older guy now. 40 years older than he was in the prologue, for sure. Oh, the Supreme One flat on his back. Fabulous Wolf trying to pin him. Is that going to do it? Please don't let the match end. Please don't let my first match end with a slap to the face. All these characters are the creation of myself, Count Whoopass. Uh, they all have full um, logic, uh, move sets, and everything. Uh, they are uh, designed to be indie wrestlers. Um, none of them are particularly experienced. Uh, a couple of them have a decent a, a bit of athleticism. Um, Pizza Dragon's pretty strong. Fabulous Wolf's pretty fit. But their move sets are not uh, super, shall we say, impressive. Perhaps they don't make the decisions that a veteran or a legend or a Hall of Famer would. Ever. But, as things progress, um, if we get to have more shows after this first uh, one-off show here at the uh, rec center of the High Society Banquet League. Whoa! Yes! Oh my god, that was awesome. 
I'm just all going to the chair. Oh my god. <laughs> Little shades of David Lee Roth there. This match is getting pretty serious. Oh, fabulous wolf. Giant pile driver. Has to pull his pants up. That was so tough. Two, oh. Three. oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. The pizza's gonna stay a buck fifty. <laughs> and Fabulous Wolf hates Pizza Dragon. He's going back after him. 79% entertainment value in our first match. Not too shabby. Uh, I'm gonna call that a win for Tiger Bucket Pro Wrestling, but that's gonna be a loss for Pizza Dragon and the fans. Our second match of the evening. On the left there in the face paint uh, and the black and the different shade of black and the other shade of slightly off black. That is Dark Mark. And his opponent this evening was supposed to be the whoosh, uh, local favorite, the whoosh, East Coast favorite. The guy lives six hours away. Unfortunately, unlike the whoosh, his car is not uh, fast. Uh, his car refused to work. So... Dark Mark's opponent tonight is Coach Schlitz, local high school football coaching legend, four-time state champ. Uh, he was more than happy, or once he found out his opponent would be Dark Mark, more than happy to jump in the ring. I'm not sure this old man has any experience. Um, right now they're just kind of circling each other, a few punches. Uh, Coach Schlitz used to have uh, Dark Mark in his health class uh, a couple years ago, and Dark Mark was still in high school. Dark Mark, not one of his better students. Um, not one of anyone's better students. Uh, Dark Mark, uh, as you may uh, be able to guess from his appearance. Sometimes appearances do tell you something about the person. Dark Mark's going to follow Schlitz out there and grab a barbed wire bat. Whoa. He hit Schlitz with the bat. That would have gotten him a definite 10 day suspension. Anyway. Mark, damn, the light tube. They're just going to brawl on the outside. We might have a double count out here. Come on, Mark. Get back in the ring. Yeah, bring a chair with you. Why the hell not? Damn. Hits him with the chair. Um, yeah, so anyway... Uh, Coach Schlitz jumped at the chance to get his hands on Dark Mark. Uh, Dark Mark was once uh, forced to try out for the football team by his stepdad. Uh, Coach Schlitz did not make that tryout easy on him, and needless to say, he did not make the team. Not one of Dark Mark's better days. Back then, he was just Mark. He was a little bit dark. You know, he had his Iron Maiden shirt and his, probably a little eyeliner, but not nothing like nothing like he did well of darkness we see before us today that's for sure that's for sure dark mark now 20 he's now he's no longer a minor coach Schlitz is allowed to hit him one of these two men is going to come out of, look at that move he's stepping on his head coach Schlitz known for stretching players who get out of line I don't know why Coach Schlitz didn't just let Mark on the team and then just beat the hell out of him for a, for a whole year, but leave him on the bench and not even... That's what I would have done if I was a dick. Oh. Oh. Uh, going for the football tackle there. Coach Schlitz showing the moves from his football days. Oh. Yeah, Dark Mark's got some power, man. Coach Schlitz may be an athlete, you know, more of an athlete than Dark Mark, oh. but Dark Mark's definitely spent more time in the ring he's got a few matches under his belt sure they're backyard matches involving light tubes and staplers and shit like that but a match is a match i guess nice face crusher a surprising athleticism from mark there Let's see how much of that he can keep up before he uh gets winded Give up. Give up. Coach Schlitz got strong for his age, man. Okay, going to the illegal chokes there. Schlitz is getting frustrated. I expected Schlitz to play this thing straight, you know. He's a he's a he's a public official. He's a Dark Mart. 
trying to eat the brain of Coach Schlitz. Oh, awesome. Again, Mark throws him outside. He wants to turn this into a backyard match. Another chair. Gets him with it. Mark not afraid to use weapons. Another chair. DDT on the outside. Schlitz gets back up, though. He's got some endurance, this old man. Come on, Mark. Swing it. These guys are determined to get this thing to a double count out. Well, like I said, if somebody if somebody wins this, the other guy's going to be super embarrassed. Either you got beat up by your old teacher or you got beat up by one of your former students. Yeah. Mark with a little, little satanic pose there. I don't know, I'm sure that was somehow satanic. Mark did a pretty good job on his makeup. If he could just get some get some money saved up and buy gear that matches, he'll be all set. Maybe run a little bit. He could probably stand to run a little bit. Coach Schlitz uh, probably should just go ahead and shave his head. Hair's a little... Here's a little interesting like sidewalk slam from Dark Mark. Dark Mark running. Yeah, running stomp. Working that ankle. Give up. These guys Give want up. a submission, man. <gasps> and it happens. Dark Mark gets the coach to submit and DDTs him after the match. Awesome. Good for Dark Mark. Beat that old man's ass. Uh, that'll be a 62% on the entertainment value. Uh, not too bad for a surprise match with a guy who maybe has never wrestled in a ring before. Good job. And now our first and only tag team match of the evening. On the left, in the red outfit and the cool blue outfit with the funky hairstyles, that is American Electromagnetic. Turbo and Ozone. Turbo, of course, is the one in the red, and Ozone is the one in the blue. And if anybody can tell me what I'm referencing with that tag team name, you will get 666 million points. His opponent right now, Turbo, is fighting it out with Bear Dog. And Bear Dog's partner is Party Man. Party Man, I'm sure we'll get to meet in a few moments. Turbo and Ozone uh, are designed to be really quick, um, but they're green. They make weird decisions. Um, don't necessarily know how to win matches. Um, Party Man and Bear Dog, more of a like limited move set. Um, not a lot of experience with any of these guys. Turbo and Ozone, very young. Very, very young. Uh, Party Man and Bear Dog in their probably mid 40s. Uh, their training regime mostly involves bar fighting and meth. Ozone in the match. Party Man laying out the chops on the young guys. Yeah, double drop kick in the corner. If that was real life, that would have broken his head off. Yeah, look at that slap rush. The party man slap rush. He didn't bring any punch to the party. He brought slap. You're going to see Turbo and Ozone uh, run quite a bit. They're acrobatic kids. High flyers. That part of their training, they've gotten correct. correct. They are good at flipping. Yeah, Ozone with a little Boston yeah, Crab. Strike exchange. Slaps and belly kicks. Oh. Drops the forehead into the forbidden zone of Ozone. Ozone tags out his partner. I like that too. Quick, quick tags. Tag in and out. Keep your keep yourselves fresh. Keep Party Man in your corner. Wear him out. Oh, Turbo is going to go for some cool running corner move there. Didn't work out that time. Oh, Party Man is going to get away. He's going to get away. Ah, he got Bear Dog. Bear Dog with a pot leaf on his bandana there. Although he mostly likes meth. Nice 
scooping body slam by the bear dog. Another strike exchange. European uppercuts by bear dog. I don't think that he has uh, trained extensively in Europe, but it could be true. I learned that eye poke on the back streets. Another tag. Double drop. No, Bear Dog fights him off. I mean, I don't care who wins. I'm not biased at all. I don't know what that's called, but that's awesome. Somebody tell me what that's called. That thing's awesome. That's my favorite. That's what I would do if I was a wrestler. I'd do that all the time. Sent on. I'd do that too. I'd pretty much be Ozone if I was a wrestler. And I'd come out to um, play Crazy Train by Black Sabbath. Or So Fresh and So Clean by Outkast. Oh, 3D from the, from the bad guys. Give up. Give up. That was awesome. Standing flipping moonsault to a pin thing from Ozone. That was sick. Party Man and Bear Dog have held championship gold in other places. Other places without TV deals, not, you know, major companies, but. Hey, they've had championship, and probably whoever you are, you probably have it, so don't judge them. Party Man, partying with the slaps. Back to that forehead thing. What's a Turbo gonna do? Oh, he leaps him. Oh, that was sick. Turbo going up top. Whoa, big frog splash. Ah, uh, too close to the ropes, buddy. See, there's that greenness. Super kick. All right, Turbo's starting to wake up, man. I'm starting to light Party Man up here. Party Man's gonna get the hell out of Dodge. Bear Man's gonna enter Dodge. Turbo ain't taking no double teamers. Nice flipping senton there off the top. Yeah. If wrestling doesn't work out, these guys could probably be Harlem Globetrotters or something. Or like Cirque du Soleil or something like that. <clears throat> that was gorgeous. Turbo and Ozone, man. I wonder if they're like handsome kids. I'll take them masks off if they're good looking, you know what I mean? Probably get some probably get some dates. Run, girls like when you jump off the ropes and flip and stuff. That was awful. They all, they're all just running into each other like a bunch of goons. Oh, fire pro wrestling world. If you need jobbers for your uh, own federation, I um, would be honored if you would download my guys. Uh, most of them are going to be jobbers. Barnabas, Rex, maybe you can kind of hold his own with some of your guys, but uh, Policia, maybe. But yeah, let's uh, let's populate the Fire Pro Wrestling world with some with some jobbers, man. With some, some of the guys who are still driving 10 hours, sleeping in their cars, trying to live the dream, you know what I mean? Guys still in training. People with their own personal problems at home, you know? I think Party Man and Bear Dog, man, they're probably having trouble paying the rent, you know what I mean? They're not going to the Hall of Fame ever. So you need those kind of guys, man, you come here, you come here to Tiger Bucket Pro Wrestling. Now, as things go on, you know, I intend for this to be an epic, uh, episodic, Science, fantasy, wrestling story. One, Things two. will progress. You'll see my guys get better. You'll see bad things happen, good things happen. But for now, I hope you will accept me as your jobber factory.
Uh, feel free to use my guys in your show or whatever as long as you credit us. Credit me. Count whoop ass of Tiger Bucket Pro Wrestling. You gotta say all that. But yeah, use my guys, man. That'd be great. I am online some too, so maybe you'll maybe you'll meet me online. That was freaking awesome. Flipping jumping neck breaker cutter thing. These guys beating the crap out of each other. Audience is starting to really dig this too. Turbo with the save there. Yes. Oh. Slow and drop. Whoa. Turbo just went a really, really long way. Come on, Ozone. Can you do it? No. Man, these two tag teams, sometimes two wrongs do make a right. Come on, Ozone, jump on him. Yes! I, I don't know about you fans, but I'm totally ready to see a couple more matches from this, this combination of tag teams right here, man. I think we got a... Uh, our, maybe not our first, but we got maybe our best uh, of the first rivalries on our hands here. This is awesome. Ozone out on his feet. Bear Dog gives him time to recover. Kind of a questionable decision there. Shoulders in the bread basket. I don't know what that Japanese guy is saying, man. Oh, <laughs> the running bump into a favorite in Tiger Bucket Pro Wrestling. Is it going to be another running bump into? No, it's a shoulder block. Bear Dog feeling good about himself. Whoa, Ozone tumbles out of the ring. Bear Dog's going to catch his breath, but Turbo's not going to let him. Good, good thinking there by Turbo. I like that a lot. Don't let him breathe. What's he gonna do? Yeah, face crusher. Hip toss. Over the pin. Party man's totally gonna break this up. Party man does it. Does he breaks it up? Nice. Those are in a house of fire. A house of blue fire. Party man gets out of there. Oh, Ozone, man. You got to go for the tag. Oh, no. Oh, Ozone gets to the ropes. This can't be the, This can't be it. Okay, good. Bear Dog kicks out it, too. Oh, Bear Dog throws Ozone out. Ozone is getting his young ass beat. Whew. Ozone going down for a couple from a couple punches there. Uh, Ozone make a tag, dude. This turbo must be pretty pretty bad off too. These guys are supposed to tag like a lot. I'm pretty happy with the logic of everybody so far. Um, little tweaks here and there. If you're not familiar with the type, with the uh, Fire Pro Wrestling world system, it takes a little bit to get used to the logic, man. But once you realize how powerful it is, holy crap, you can really... Well, things like Tiger Bucket Pro Wrestling are... I mean, you can really th tell stories. You can get characters that will act the way you want them to act. One, two, three. Turbo and Ozone with the win. Yes. 94% awesome job. We will definitely see a rematch between these two dudes. Absolutely. Between these four dudes. Excellent job. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Main event of the evening. Of course, on the right there, you know that man. He's Barnabas Rex. You saw him in the prologue.
It's been 40 years since that last show at Diablo Family Championship Wrestling. Barnabas took about six months off after whatever happened there. He came back and he's wrestled for the past 40 years on the indie circuit, and the, the mid the mid time circuit. Never really made it to television or anything like that. Uh, but he's a pretty famous guy in the gyms and rec centers and auditoriums, armories of the East Coast and and Midwest. Elgato Policia, the man who's putting on the show, will be his uh, opponent this evening. Elgato Policia there made his own outfit. I'm pretty impressed. I think it's great. I think it's an excellent outfit. I think whoever made that should be super proud of it. Policia taking it to the old man. If Policia can get a quick victory, he might actually get a victory. Figure four. Barnabas is much more experienced, much stronger, much bigger, but he is an old man. He's like 62, 63 now. This is intended to be Barnabas' last match. He had his first run as a wrestler in Diablo Family Wrestling, and uh, why not end it here tonight in what's the closest thing you can get to Diablo Family Wrestling these days. Strike exchange. Barnabas comes out on top of that one. Well, <laughs> he's already getting worn out by the younger, faster guy. He'll go ahead and do his damn finisher. But he's up against the ropes. Policia does not get pinned because he's too close to the ropes. EDT. Policia doing awesome so far. Barnabas hated Policia's dad, Diablo Nose. They had a crazy rivalry that ended at that last show. Barnabas never able to capture the Diablo Family Wrestling Championship. There is no Tiger Bucket Pro Wrestling Championship since this is just a one-time show. Wink, wink. Dropping that big leg on the face of Policia. Almost got him. Barnabas just much stronger. One, two. <sighs> About to end it with a simple punch to the head. Gorilla Press. I think Policia's window of opportunity to win this match may be rapidly closing. You gotta wonder if Barnabas trusts this kid. He probably sees him and thinks underneath that mask, underneath that Policia mask, you're just another Diablo. Who can blame him? If I was a Diablo, I would totally put on a police mask and pretend to be a good guy and then get you in the ring and stab you in the neck with a foreign object when you're not expecting it. And kill the ref, too. Get a big stick and go after the audience. I don't give a shit. Oh, the audience is starting to... They're into it. They're clapping a little bit. Yeah. Diablo is going to break the back and rib cage of Policia. He's not going to take it easy on this kid, that's for sure. You may not be your dad, but tonight you'll be close enough. Barnabas wants his last match. And he wants to go out with the image of him just dominating somebody. Showing off his power and skill. And getting a quick pin like this. Two. Oh, no. Policia showing the fire, man. Staying in it. Another gorilla press. Policia can only take so much of this. He's a pretty resilient kid, but. Oh, that's going to do it, man. One, two, three. Barnabas Rex wins his final match in under 10 minutes. Good showing by Policia, though. He tried hard there. That's only going to be a 61% entertainment value match, though. Um. Policia just unfortunately very outmatched by Barnabas. Oh.